Hello and welcome back to my Al Ashi review series. Today we are reviewing episode 17 and I hope you enjoy. This episode starts with the tryout guy who failed giving Ashito and the other boys a load of sticks saying the reason he failed was because they were getting too pally and it was mainly Ashito's fault. So this is setting up the game with this team who are top of the league even more. But it looks like we won't get that game for a while yet as this episode was focusing on a different game. Ashito promises he'll be starting in the game against that guy so he's got some work to do to get back into the starting 11. So this episode was pretty much all game time and it was really good because the games we've had so far have been sprinkled throughout episodes but this felt like the most important one yet. With Ashito finally starting in this new role of fullback despite all the critics on the sidelines saying he shouldn't be playing and even the other team mocking him saying he must be filling in for someone else. The difference for this game is that they have the A-team's captain playing which is a huge morale boost for them. You can tell this guy just sees things differently and he's a step above the rest of the B-team. It takes him a while to actually get into this game but when he finally gets going it was something special. Most of the episode focused on Ashito adapting to his fullback role trying not to get overrun by attackers. He eventually starts to use his eagle eye ability and see things a lot more clearly making interceptions in the right spaces. It was honestly really good to see how well he's adapting in this episode, although he's still got so far to go, he's definitely making the right progress. The game turns when Yoshitsune, the player from the A-team, tells Ashito that it is time to score some goals. The pace speeds up, the music gets going and he starts playing some really fancy passes and even some skill moves in there. He wraps off the episode with a goal. That was for sure one of the best moments of this episode, it was so great to see him in his element. The episode ends with Ashito saying he wants to be just like him but he tells Ashito he doesn't need to be like him as he's going down his own path which was so fitting to wrap up this episode. So again, this was just another amazing episode. It was pretty slow, a lot of the game was just Ashito trying to figure out what was going wrong, but then when this episode gets going it was so amazing and I can't wait to see how this game ends off now that Esperion have gone one goal up. I feel like this really could be the turning point for Ashito in this new position. He's finally got his start and now he's finding his feet. But once again, a really enjoyable episode, so it gets an 8 out of 10. Let me know your thoughts on this episode. Did you enjoy? What is your rating? Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.